Hello people of the tube and welcome back to another review. So today I'm reviewing a film that I had to watch twice just so I could believe my fucking eyes. This film is called The Fanatic. It stars John Travolta as a mentally unstable, mentally handicapped man named Moose who has a obsession with one of his favorite actors. Almost to the point of stalking. And by stalking, I mean he breaks into his house, he uses his toothbrush, he hides in his closet, he smells him and he kisses him on the forehead. It's fucking weird. But his favorite actor, who is uh, acted by uh, Devin Soya, apparently played Stan from Eminem's music video Stan, which is about an obsessive fan, so that's something. But Hunter Dunbar, that's the actor's name that Devin Soya plays, is an absolute fucking prick. He is one of the slimiest fuck faces I've ever seen in a movie. And let me tell you, the thing is, is when you have a movie where both the antagonist and the protagonist are both shit, it's very hard to find someone to root for. I had no one to root for in this whole movie. Both of them are written horribly. Both of them are acted horribly. And the whole film itself has a lot of problems. The directing is boring. It has these weird drawings in between every scene. Um... John Travolta's acting is so over the top. He scratches his ear and smells his fingers right after scratching it. And like I said before, when he breaks into the actor's house, he scratches the actor's ear and then smells it. Like he fondles it with his fingers and smells his fingers. He kisses him on the forehead. He takes a picture of him kissing the actor's forehead and puts it up on his social media after he broke into the man's house. And not only that, but he kind of gets away with a lot of shit, like breaking into parties he's not supposed to be in. And he breaks a lot of fucking laws in this movie. And his friends, who I guess are supposed to keep him in line, do a horrible job at it. So he's very, like, he, he acts out quite a lot, and he's allowed to get away with it. And the actor himself is a piece of shit. So... They're not likable. Uh, Moose, the main character, actually has a job being an English Bobby. So imagine John Travolta acting as a mentally handicapped man who acts like an English Bobby. It's as ridiculous as it sounds. And it's as funny as it sounds. In fact, this entire film is hilarious. Now, this seems like a movie I should absolutely tell you not to watch. I should absolutely say, never watch this. This is a giant piece of shit. And it is. But it's also one of the greatest films ever made. It is absolutely hilarious. It is absolutely so badly written that every mistake is just mwah, it's perfection. It is absolutely perfection. The ending is nonsensical. Horribly written. Makes no fucking sense. But it is... It's beautiful. It's fantastic. I love this fucking movie. I fucking love this movie. I cannot recommend The Fanatic enough. This shit is hilarious. If you have a group of friends, grab some beers, grab some liquor, sit down, and watch The Fanatic. Because it will be one of the funnest things you've done in a long time. The Fanatic is my room. It is my The Room. It is, for me, the greatest bad movie ever made. It is beautiful. And the fact that it was directed by Fred Durst, the singer of Limp Biscuit, and there's a scene where the actor, the guy, uh, the actor that Devin Soya plays in the film actually plays a Limp Biscuit song in the car and acts how great like he talks about how great Limp Biscuit is is amazing so over the top nonsensical but fuck me do I love this movie so if you've never seen The Fanatic 
go watch it. Go find it. It's on iTunes. It's on DVD. It's on Blu-ray. I don't know if it's on Netflix or streaming, but God, is it worth it. So just make sure you guys check out The Fanatic because it is amazing. Peace.